This is the importing STLs and introduction tutorial for the dental design tools for Blender. Uh, this is a beginner tutorial, which means it is slow, thorough, and wordy. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you've used Blender very little. And so, to aid us, I'm going to enable this screencasting. So you can look right here and it will show you what uh, what I'm what buttons I'm doing, what buttons I'm hitting, and what I'm doing uh, with the mouse. So the first thing you can do is use the middle mouse button. You press it to rotate around in the scene. Now, if you hold Shift and middle mouse button, you strafe around or translate. Um, I usually have this feature enabled. Is I lock the view to the cursor, and then you can left click to place this 3D cursor and your view always follows it. Shift C to recenter. That's a very useful tool. Okay. Spacebar brings up this search menu which uh, makes available all the functions that you can find other places like in these drop down menus. But I find that often um, navigating through these is, you know, it's fairly easy but it's also really easy to just hit spacebar. So we'll go Spacebar, import STL, navigate to where the STLs are. Um, these will be in your Dropbox folder in the under models. And we will import the STLs. It takes a few minutes, and it's you know that's nine megabytes. It's gotta load it in. Um, it's a lot it'll be a lot quicker on your computer because you won't be screencasting. Um, we adjust this little pane over here. This is the outliner and you'll see a list of all the different objects and models um, in your scene here. Um, at times as you move through the design process things will get hidden like this uh, to kind of facilitate the best view possible uh, but there, don't worry they're still there they're just not being displayed. And so at any point in time, if you want to display something, you can use this little eye to toggle off the on and off the visibility. So in Blender, you use the right click to select things. Um, this is customizable. Um, you can change the user interface, um, and that's not you know, that's not difficult to do at all. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the stock user interface settings. What we'll do is we'll right click our model that has the preparation on it. Go to Design Parameters. Also, a lot of these buttons are legacy. Um, I'll be cleaning some of them out. We'll do this. We'll make that the master model. We'll let it know that that is the opposing model. And that's uh, we can set our cement gap distance and the strength of in approximate contacts. But for now, just as a learning exercise, we'll skip that. Open up the design tools. Tell it what tooth you're working on, and this is the um, quadrant tooth system, so one six is first quadrant, six tooth back, or the first molar. Um, it's not the one through thirty two. I that's uh can be changed and I'll probably update that where you can have a little checkbox whether you're working the international or the universal. If we've done that, we will process the models. It will hide things, give you some transparency. And also set up some parenting relationships. Right, so now we see that opposing is under master. It's visible here. And what this allows is if I left I right click on the master model, hit G to grab, and I move it around, the opposing model comes with it. Same for rotation, R to rotate. Um, you would never do this to the master model, but if you hit S, you can scale. And if you hit S followed by X, you'll constrain that scale to just the X axis, the Y, or the Z axis. Um, it's hard to see. And that's pretty much all you need to know for now. Um, you'll get more exposure to the different tools and different functions as we move through more tutorials.